Hey YouTube, messing around with RFID and contactless proximity cards again and got myself this little device. This is the Proxmark 3 RDV4 and in playing with that I realized that all these common proximity cards are not as secure as people probably think they are. I mean even the iClass stuff, this is a default one but I was able to, the master keys have been leaked. Now some of the newer iClass is harder to apparently get into, but I don't really have enough fobs for testing right now, so I'm going to try to acquire more. I mean, I've got this whole box of stuff down here, and a lot of them are UHF tags, but some of the ones in that bag are the EM4100 stuff, and then there's some HID stuff, and this is kind of cool. These are the Chinese cloners that are all over the internet. And you can copy one of these cards with it and then program it into like a T5577 type card. Like one of these that came with it. And this will even do the stuff like hotel key cards. Like the MyFair, MyFair Classic. I mean it's amazing that it takes about 20 seconds to crack one of those. And if you do the hard nested attack for the more secure ones, it takes a few minutes, but you could still get into them pretty easily. The only things I haven't had luck with are the car transponders, like this cutaway here. I don't think the antenna on the little reader is quite optimized to read these chip tags because it had trouble reading some other ones too that I know are working. And the car readers are encrypted, but most of this stuff isn't encrypted. The I class is but the 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 master keys for all the legacy systems have been leaked so it's tr very trivial to clone one i mean so many buildings use this stuff and it's just pretty easy if you really wanted to get in but i'm not really making a video about how to do that there's plenty of tutorials so just thought i'd show you this is what i've been messing with so far Thanks for watching.